Hey everybody, Stratus here with another pre-game stats breakdown. Starting off on the red team, we have Katarina, Janna, Jace, Graves, and Nocturne versus the blue team who has Ezreal, Lee Sin, Ari, Blitzcrank, and Cho'Gath. Uh, so at the top lane, we're going to have Jace versus Cho'Gath. Uh, now Jace mains caster while Cho'Gath mains AD carry, so neither one are really going to have a pretty or, uh, an advantage by any means. Uh, Jace has been played by this person 11 times with a 72% win ratio, which is uh, pretty good. I mean, it's only 11 games, but it's still really good considering. Uh, Cho'Gath has only 3 games played. Uh, with a 66.67% win ratio, uh, which is still pretty good, but it's just a really low amount of games. Uh, I think overall, Jace, he's just too strong right now, and I think he will come out on top in this particular uh, in this particular duel, Jace versus Cho'Gath. So I'm going to give that advantage to the red team. Then if we transition down into middle, we're going to have Ari versus Katarina, uh, and I think Katarina's uh, Katarina mains jungle while Ari mains caster. This is going to give Ari a pretty big advantage. Uh, Katarina has been played by this person over 390 times, though, uh, with the 52% win ratio. Uh, when Ari has been played by this person uh, a little bit over 80 times with the 55% win ratio, which isn't too big of a difference. Uh, with the huge amount of knowledge as Katarina has and the fact that Ari has primarily skill shots, I think Katarina will do better because she'll be able to just shumpo around that charm really, really easily. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to give that particular lane to the red team as well. Then if we go into the jungle, we're going to have Nocturne versus Lee Sin. Uh, and Nocturne mains jungle, while Lee Sin also mains jungle. Nocturne's been played by this person about 21 times with the 61% win ratio, when Lee Sin has been played by this person over 325 times with a 61% win ratio as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to give this particular matchup to the blue team. I think that Lee Sin is really going to carry hard uh, early game in this jungle. Uh, and then if we go into bottom lane, uh, we're going to have Ezreal versus Graves. Graves mains AD carry while Ezreal mains caster. This is going to give a huge advantage to Graves since they're two completely different matchups. Uh, but Ezreal may be used to those skill shots. Uh, Graves has been played by this person about 89 times with a 56% win ratio, which is pretty good. Uh, Ezreal has been played by this person about 89 times with a 52% win ratio, which is still a lot of games for somebody that mains caster, but um, a little bit worse of a win percentage. Overall, I think Graves is still a more powerful champion than Ezreal. I think Ezreal is really good against against lowering attack speed, but if Graves can quick draw away from that Essence Flux, then he should be just fine. Uh, and then if we take a look at Blitzcrank versus Janna. Uh, Blitzcrank mains 80 carry while Janna mains support. This is going to give a huge advantage to Janna. Uh, Janna has been played by this person over 280 times with a 55% win ratio, which is phenomenal. Uh, Blitzcrank has been played by this person about 18 times with a 38% ratio, which is really not all that good. Not a lot of games, not a very good win ratio. Uh, I really think I'm going to give this bottom lane to the red team. So overall, if we add up the wins and losses of everybody, the red team is going to have a 54.51% chance of winning, and the blue team is going to have a 58.54% chance of winning. So I'm actually going to go against the stats, against the numbers on this one, and go with the red team. So let's go ahead and get into the game and see what happens. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Strider's back with another daily high ELO casting. And this is, of course, going to be another extremely high ELO game. Some very interesting players, as well as some nice little champion choice. We are seeing a lot more Cho'Goths recently, which is a, a little bit interesting since they haven't really changed much. Uh, I know a few patches ago, I think I want to say it was like three, maybe four patches ago, they changed his rupture so it was more consistent because before it was kind of just doing whatever rupture wanted to do. Um, uh, but now it's like consistent 1.5 seconds before it actually shoots up. Uh, so that made him a little bit more strong that oh actually no they did make the change to his vorpal strike so the bigger he gets uh, the wider range his vorpal, vorpal spikes actually hit so that's really good for him it gives him a little bit of extra uh, dps and fights when he's just auto attacking people uh, but we'll see how it goes through like him and Ezreal is a really great combo with the team fight if Ezreal can hit him with a uh, with an essence flux that's really just going to help out uh, in the overall team fight presence that Cho'Gath has 
And of course, Blitzcrank Ezreal is a pretty nasty combo. Uh, going against a Janna uh, and a Graves, it's not going to be too crazy. Uh, Janna's really fast, so she's going to be able to uh, dodge those early hooks. Uh, on top of that, uh, Janna does have her Tornado, so she's going to be able to disengage any form of hook that ha that does possibly Welcome land uh, on either Graves or her. So they're really going to have to burst her down really, really quickly, but she will also have that shield. Uh, I just think it's going to be extremely difficult for the blue team to really take out the, the red team in bottom lane. As far as, lane, as, far as mid lane goes, uh, with uh, Katarina versus the Ari. That should be a very interesting matchup, to be honest. Uh, I think that Katarina has a little bit of advantage just because Ashumpo is going to be able to give her the ability to dodge a lot of skill shots that uh, you normally wouldn't be able to do. So giving Cho'Gath top against the Jace, I'm not sure how well that's actually going to work. Uh, I know Cho'Gath does have a lot of passive health regen, and that really kind of helps basically whenever he kills somebody. Or whenever he kills a, a creep, he'll get a little bit of health back. Uh, so it'll definitely help in the laning process against Jace, since Jace harasses extremely well. Uh, it's going to be difficult. So both teams decide to really just pull out the passive play on this particular on this particular game. Uh, no one had a real huge advantage, uh, except for possibly Blitzcrank. I think the blue team might have been able to grab something out there, um, but the thing is, is uh, if they would have went for a grab, they possibly would have all gotten knocked up by a tornado. Uh, there's just a lot of really nice AoE spells coming out from the red team, and I think that would have really put a hindrance on the damage that they did. And the shield going on a Nocturne just perfectly timed, so it doesn't expire before it actually dies, uh, but early enough to where he'll get the bonus attack damage from it. So really great job by Janna really being able to have that experience. Uh, oh, and a great ward coming out, so that's going to be a really early ward on the blue team, warding that river, really just ensuring that, oh, Katarina may get hit, yes she does, and that is going to be some nice little extra damage coming out from Lee Sin. Holy cow, Katarina is going to have to use about one or two health potions from that, uh, and she's not going to get any creep kills from this either, so Katarina's in quite a pickle, already down by 6 CS and a health potion or two. Uh, and yeah, she's going to be a little bit behind. Uh, I'm not sure how well she will actually farm at a tower since she has to auto attack. Uh, if she does any of her other spells, it's going to be an AoE spell and this is going to mess it up. Oh, Jace getting initiated on here by the Lee Sin, but Lee Sin is not going to do enough to really do anything. It's going to back him off though. Uh, Jace still doing pretty well. Uh, of course, he is just barely losing in CS, but that is because of that Lee Sin gank. Lee Sin really showing a lot of presence in this game so far. And Lee Sin may be going for another gank. No, he's just going to go around through the jungle. Uh, he is going to get spotted out by this red ward here. Uh, let's see if he actually gets spotted. Yeah, he will get spotted out there. So great ward coming out from the red team, just being able to... Uh, sight out his entire jungle and they're really not going to have any problems knowing where he is. He is now going on to this red buff. Once he gets this red buff, that's going to make his ganks a lot more terrifying. Uh, Katarina finally getting a couple levels. She's That's really going to be able to help her with her farming abilities as well as pushing the lane extremely hard. Uh, and so it looks like, oh, Graves tried to quick, shot, or quick draw out of there, but Taking a lot of damage from the combination of Graves and Ezreal. I think if a Blitzcrank would have tanked the tower for a couple shots, that would have got out. But the quick draw just wasn't quite far enough. Now Lee Sin coming in, he doesn't have that much health, so this could be really dangerous. But then again, Graves doesn't have much himself. Oh, that's going to be Safeguard coming in. And no, both skill shots are going to miss. A uh, very nice attempt by the blue team, but that is going to show Lee Sin that uh, that's going to show that Lee Sin has double buffs. Uh, he's also low, so they're probably going to know that he's going to back off at this point. Uh, definitely a safe play by Lee Sin by actually backing off. Uh, so now, uh oh, it looks like we might get a nice little fear. No, Jace actually throws him out of the fear leash, and that was a failed gank. And that was definitely the Jace that saved the Cho'Gath on that particular engagement. Uh, very unfortunate when that type of stuff happens. A little bit of lack of coordination. Uh, plus the little knockbacks have had quite a 
quite a, I don't know, I'd say a handful of interesting bugs on it. Uh, if they're already like in moving in a certain direction, they'll go in like an L way instead of straight. When you knock them back, they'll go like directly 90 degrees to the right or something like that. So it's really weird. Um, but great job by Chogats just being able to get out of there. He did have to use his flash. Jay still has his, and that's really going to help uh, once Jace gets a little bit higher up there. But Cho'Gath, he's almost level 6, and that's going to be absolutely huge. Lee Sin coming out, but the red team is going to back up. Oh, no, huge engagement coming down by Grace might end up going down. No, he is not. He's still in there, but he could get hit. Oh, my gosh, no, Mystic Shot just barely missing. And Ezreal almost going down in the meantime. It was a very close battle. In the meantime, oh no, no a lot of damage. Katarina is getting so low. So Katarina and Graves still incredibly low. Uh oh, this could be really bad if Lee Sin lands this. This is going to be a dead Katarina. Wow. And so that's going to be first blood. She ran right into it. Great job by Lee Sin, really just being able to predict that uh, and her having a fat hitbox. So you heard it here first Katarina's fat. Uh, but great job at them. Leeson's now coming around from the back of the red team. Since the minions are now pushed, they're going to have a pretty large opportunity to actually come in here. I don't know if it's going to happen, though. Oh, no. Leeson misses his Q. It's not going to be enough. Creeps are still not pushed far enough. Oh, a grab now coming out, but barely, barely missing the graves. Great quick draw coming out from him. It's going to increase his attack speed. He's going to level from that. He's still not quite level 6, though. And that's going to be a huge detriment. And now, oh my gosh, Cho'Gath is taking a lot of damage. He, oh, he gets hit by that Shock Blast. And that's going to be a couple more auto attacks to kill him off. And yes, that is going to be a kill in favor of Jace. Great job by Jace really being able to take advantage of that lane at this point in time. He is behind by about 20 CS, which is absolutely monstrous. But he was able to pick up that kill, and that's really what helps. Katarina now coming towards bottom lane. There's no ward here out for the blue team. This could be very, very dangerous. Blitzcrank is now level 6. He used his power fist and his... Oh, man. He is going to have to flash out of that. And that is going to be an ignite with the Sinister Steel. Going to be a double kill coming out from Katarina. Wonderful play. Unfortunately for Blitz, he used his power fist and his grab. So he was not able to get her out of her ultimate. Uh, but he did have a splash up, so he was able to get away for just a little bit. Wonderful job. And Lee Sin is now spotted by this red ward. Uh, he is going to start heading down towards mid, but there's nobody mid right now. So it's going to be a little interesting. Although Jace was in the bush and he is recalling. He's going to be counter jungling right now, it looks like. Oh, man. Nocturne is taking quite a beating right now. Hope they're going to be able to uh, return that favor here pretty soon. Nocturne almost goes down. He's level 6. He's going to be able to engage if he feels like it. Uh, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I would not engage with 230 health. That is a death sentence. Oh, now he's going for red. This is going to be a really great play by him. He is going to get that. And that is going to be Lee Sin getting vision on that red buff. Uh, but it is going to finally go away. And oh, great shot by Jace. Really getting in there hard. And a great tornado knockup coming out. Is Jace going to pick that up? Yes, he will. Lee Sin staying in the jungle way too long. Not having friendly <laughs> champions around to really back him up. Uh, and Jace is going to be able to farm up top now. And this is really putting him back in the game. He was so far behind. But now he's coming back extremely strong. Uh, Ari's build is a little bit interesting. Getting that chalice first. Uh, it's not something that many Ari's do. Typically they go for that hunting guys at this point and, uh, and or the uh, abyssal scepter. That's their two really, really common picks. Uh, oh, Janna is kind of cut out of position, but she is still here. And now, oh my gosh, this could be really bad for the Cho'Gath. Once again, Cho'Gath does have that ninja tabby. That's going to help him quite a bit. And they're going to go pretty much even. And now Katarina is coming in. She is going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, and the grab just barely missed it. And that is going to be a reset on her abilities. Wonderful job. A great, great pickup by the Graves. Really coming up strong. And now, uh oh, Lee Sin, if he hits one more minion, that could be really bad. And now, uh oh, oh. Okay, so Jenna is really just taking this one for the team. She knows she's going to die. And she's just going to do whatever at this point. But she did end up saving two other members of the red team. Because that would have been really bad if Ari got in there against all three of them. Really, really bad. 
So good job by Janna, really just sacrificing herself. Not really going to matter too much, plus she probably had to go back to get some wards or whatnot. So not a big deal, I suppose. That was her first death. She did have five assists. She didn't have a killing spree. Oh, and that's going to be a lot of damage coming out. Katarina throwing down her ultimate, throwing down the Sinister Steel. Is she going to go down? The safeguard coming out from Lee Sin is not going to be enough. Oh my gosh, no. Graves is here in the mix. That Dragon Kick coming down. Oh, is he going to go down? Yes, that is a double kill. Great job with the red buff coming out from Nocturne. The True Shot Barrage from Ezra was a little bit too late. Not going to be able to pick anything up. And that is going to be a great job by Nocturne, really just being able to survive. And great map awareness coming out from Graves, uh, just really just providing that support that he really, really needed. Uh, Jace is now finally coming back in CS. He's only down by 10 now instead of 20, so he's doing a wonderful job. He's also up by 2 kills, which is going to put him in the gold lead by about 300. Uh, so great job by him. Ari is still up by about 15 CS, which is pretty surprising because Katarina... Uh, was doing okay. Katarina does have three kills. Uh, their gold is pretty much even, though. Uh, so not a huge deal. Uh, as far as bottom lane goes, Graves has a kill. Uh, but he is behind by 15 CS. He's still up in gold by about 500 at this point in the game, though. Which is absolutely huge. Uh, so great job by Graves. Really being able to pick that up hard. Uh, the jungler's nocturne is going to have those two kills. He does now have his Riggles Lantern, and that Riggles is going to be so powerful for those neutral, uh, the neutral monsters that they're going to be able to go for now uh, with that and not have any problems if a team comes along to try to contest it. Leeson has a lot of really basic items, but nothing extremely concrete quite yet. Katarina getting charmed right away uh, out of her ultimate. A little bit unfortunate there, but uh, Ari has learned that she needs to keep that safe. Uh, and it looks like, is Trogoth leveling his Vorpal Strikes first? He is leveling his Feral Scream and then his Vorpal Strikes. So he's using the Rupture strictly for some additional CC, which is pretty good. Oh, this can be really bad. There's three members of the blue team here. They are surrounded. That is going to be an ultimate coming out from Ezreal in a flash. Oh, and that is four members of the blue team now against three. Graves is going to have to get out of there. I don't think Katarina is going to be able to. No, she doesn't. Ari teleports over the wall, and Graves runs into that orb of deception. Very unfortunate. Coming out for Graves, and now the blue team is pinging out for Dragon. Are they going to be able to pick this up without any contest? It looks like they will. This is going to be a nice little first Dragon in the game. Kind of get blue team back in the running of this game. They're only down by 1,000 now, but picking up this Dragon is really going to help out. Yes, that is going to be a free dragon kill coming out for the blue team. They're only down by 100 now, and this game is definitely going to be exciting, as you can tell. Ari so close to dying, but she just didn't go down in that fight. Uh, they were almost able to pick her up, but just wasn't enough. There wasn't enough focus. Uh, but Jace now finally getting... Uh, that was pretty cool. Auto attack followed him all the way back to the spawn. But he has a BF sword already, which is absolutely huge. He's going for a lot of damage, which is a little unconventional, but Cho'Gath himself is actually picking up that Glacial Shroud, looking for that Frozen Heart, really going to try to put a damper on this Jace Graves combo, uh, which if Cho'Gath gets right in the middle of a fight, it's definitely going to propose an issue. Uh, so hopefully we will see that coming out as soon as possible. He does have that second cloth on him, pretty much ready to go. Katarina right now, she does have the Gunblade with the Cage's Lucky Pick, so she's going to get quite a bit of lifesteal from the damage she does. Not a whole lot, but enough. Jace now coming in. Is he going to get caught up? No, the ultimate is going to come out from... Oh, Nocturne is now coming in with the Safeguard over the wall. Jace is now going on. Jace is able to pick it up. Katarina Flash is trying to get the kill. She's going to throw the dagger, and now Ari is dead. Are they going to be able to pick this up? It doesn't look like they have the vision. No, they don't. And Cho'Gath was a very fast monster. The blue buff is still up, and that is going to be a free blue going down either on the Nocturne or to Jace. Uh, so we'll see what it goes. It looks like they're kind of describing it. it. looks like it will be on Jace. Wonderful job. This is really going to help Jace just continue to farm and provide a huge onslaught of spells. A great grab coming out from Blitzcrank. He gets the Power Fist and the Silence now coming out. Janna ultimates to get Blitzcrank away, and now, oh my gosh, Katarina is there, she is going to throw down her ultimate, she does almost die, yes, yeah, she does end up going down to the tower, 
And that is going to be a great pickup for Ezreal. He really needed that kill. And that is going to help him very much. He's able to pick up that BF Sword as well as the Vamp Scepter. So far, that is much more than what Graves has. Graves, I'm assuming, has quite a bit. Yeah, he has 2,200 gold in his pocket right now. He can go back and get a BF Sword or whatever he wants at the end, but he may be saving up uh, either to get a flat-out Bloodthirster or to uh, get something else. So we will find out when that actually happens. Uh, two gold per tens now coming out from Janna. Uh, only one on Blitzcrank, so it looks like Blitzcrank is having a little bit of issues. Uh, managing his money. He only has two wards. When Jen has a pink and a green, that's really going to help. A great shock blast now coming out. Cho'Gath is going to Omnom Jace and throw down the Ignite. Is he going to go down? It looks like he will. Yes, he will. That is going to be a great exchange coming out probably in favor of Jace. Uh, Cho'Gath needed it, but he did lose stacks from it as well. And that is going to be the bad news of the situation. Ari's coming in. She is going to be recalling. Oh, she is going to be able to ultimate out of there. Oh, the Dragon Kick really just kicking him into a really bad situation. The ultimate now coming out from Ezreal. The Exhaust. But Flash is now coming out with the grab. Oh, it grabs her perfectly. She's not going to be able to get out of there. She does as much damage as possible. But Ari is going to be able to pick it up. It looks like Janna will end up going down. And that is going to be a nice little Mystic Shot coming out from Ezreal. Wonder, wonderful job. Wonder, wonderful job. So that was a really nice 3 for 0 trade in favor of the blue team. How is the red team going to be able to counteract that? Uh, they are still up in gold. And a tower did go down in favor of the red team. So that's also really going to help. Uh, it is the bottom tower for the red team, which doesn't really do too much quite yet. Uh, they may need to transfer top and try to get something. Jace is doing as much as he can. Cho'Gath on three stacks now. Uh, three fee stacks. That's going to make him pretty big, but he can still get three more. So he's going to have to wait uh, another like four or five minutes in order to be able to get that if they don't do any team fights. So we'll see how he actually decides on playing this. He does pick up a Negatron Cloak pretty early now. He just needed that Glacial Shroud for a little bit of extra cooldown reduction in mana. Uh, as well as the armor, so just a really great pickup for him. Uh oh, Blitzcrank stop coming in. That is going to be a double silence going down on a Jace. Jace is going to do as much as he can. He throws that out, and that is going to be a grab coming out onto the Blitzcrank. And now Choga is going to possibly go down. That is going to be a knockup to the skies. He's going to go down, and Nocturne is going to end up backing off. In the meantime, Ezreal picks up Graze, and Janna picks up Ezreal. He runs away, and in the meantime, Graves is going... Oh, 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 sorry. Jace is going in really hard. Ari ends up picking up Jace. Well, Blitzcrank picks up Katarina. That is a 3 for 3 trade so far. Nocturne is going to have to run away as fast as possible. He was able to use his Dust Brainer to do that. Wonderful play by Nocturne. Just barely being able to avoid that charm. And now at this point, Jan is really going to have to push as hard as she can. Because uh, Lee Sin is going to be pretty easy to take this out. Take out this tower. And it looks like he is going to back off. Oh, the Mystic Shot is going to do anything. No, it won't. Very nice try. They did have ward coverage there, so she was able to see it. Wonderful ward placement being here and here. So both these wards showed what they could do. In the meantime, Arya Todd is able to take out that tower on top from the red team and that is going to provide them with a lot of little extra benefits from going towards baron it's only 19 minutes but i do expect a baron fight to happen relatively soon i would say about uh, five to seven minutes i think we might see a baron fight uh, they haven't really been too aggressive on the on the global objectives this particular game though so you never know what may happen uh, it could just be that no one really wants to risk a dragon since both teams are incredibly strong and have some uh, nice, you know, not amazing synergy, but it's pretty good. Uh, the Graves and Nocturne on the same team is really going to mess with people. Graves actually losing his tower. Great job by the blue team being able to pick that up, and that is going to be another couple auto attacks coming out. Israel missing his Mystic Shot. And Ari was going to go down. It looks like they're pinging off Dragon once again. 
Are they going to pick this up? It looks like they will end up picking this up. There is a ward there, a sight ward coming out. Or sorry, visual ward coming out from the red team. So they know that they're there. And that is going to be a nice little arcane trip over the wall. That was a great feast coming out. And the ultimate not going to do too much. And red team Jace taking out a tower of the blue team. That's going to tie up the tower shots. And now, oh, the ultimate is coming out from Nocturne. Is it going to happen? No, the doesn't go up, but Lee Sin's going really hard in the paint against this Katarina. Katarina is trying to get out of there. She does end up going away. Jace gets to this guy, slows down somebody. Is he going to be able to keep up this onslaught? A great, great shock blast coming out to grab, just barely missing everybody. Katarina is starting to go on a rampage, though. If she can get on to anybody else and reset her cooldowns, that could be detrimental to everybody on the blue team. It looks like Jace getting grabby is going to go down. Katarina is coming in, throws down her ult. But she is silenced down. She does get killed. Very unfortunate. Great job by Choga. He didn't feast her, but it was still really close. She did a wonderful job. And Ari, is she going to go down? Yes, she is going to go down. Graves, so close to killing him. Killing that Choga. Just not going to happen. It looks like they will end up taking one more tower. And that was a four for two trade. Ezreal is back up and so is Lee Sin. Blitzcrank is coming shortly behind. Looks like Red Team really wants to invade and take their buffs away. That could be an excellent choice for the Red Team. They really want to make sure that they keep Blue at a big disadvantage. Uh, those buffs may not be huge, but they're definitely buffs. They're still, I mean, they're called buffs for a reason. They do help. Um, they're not game changing, but if, you if you're already in the lead and you take the other team's buffs, that prevents them, that basically widens the gap. Because if they were to take them like they normally would, then uh, it would shorten the distance in the, uh, just like the difference between the items that are needed. A great shock blast once again coming out from Jace. The grab missing once again. Very unfortunate. Lee Sin's going to go and do a little bit of damage. Nothing too crazy though. Katarina's starting to farm up just a little bit, being able to take those race without any problems whatsoever. And as far as builds go, Jace has the Bloodthirst really early, and then he has that giant spell. It's going to be super aggressive. Katarina almost getting grabbed, but the slow now coming down. Blitzcrank is getting knocked up and slowed. Wonderful job by him, and that's going to be a shock bus smashing Ari in the back of the face. And, oh, Leeson trying to get onto that Jace. It would have been a good decision. That was a really close grab. I'm actually surprised that didn't hit. And now the ultimate coming out from Nocturne. Doing a ton of damage to this guy's fall with a thundering blow. Not going to be able to pick it up quite yet. And Silence now coming out through a lot of people. Oh, a great collateral damage. Picking up that kill on the Ezreal. Doing a wonderful job. Janna going down from the tower and the Omnom from Cho'Gath. Shogat doing what he can. That is going to be a triple kill coming out for Graves. Is this going to be one more? No, Katarina picks one up. Oh my gosh, is that going to be one more auto attack? Yes, that is. And that is a quadra kill for the chase. Or sorry, for the Graves. Beautiful play coming out. And that is going to be a 5-4-3. Wonderful job by them. And it looks like they're going to be able to take this tower and possibly an inhibitor. Ezreal's up in four seconds, but the two of them should be able to pick that up. Oh no, so Blitzcrank is back, or is still here. Doing what he can, Ezreal not quite doing anything. Oh, the Power Fist now coming out with the exhaust. It's really gonna slow Graves down. Is he gonna be able to gather? It looks like he will. Ezreal's going directly to bottom, and he was either just not aware, he didn't think it was gonna happen. So overall, great try from the Blitzcrank. It just wasn't gonna happen. Graves is, uh, Graves is just way too tanky. It's so hard to kill him. With this passive True Grit, it's just extremely difficult to kill him. And Jason Graves, I get confused all the time. I don't know why, but they're so similar. They're like brothers, but not really at all. Oh, Blue Team is now finally going in on Baron. No, it looks like he's just kind of peeking in and out. Taking a little bit of damage from Baron. Not a whole lot, though. Not going to be too big of an issue. And a great pop-up now coming down. That was awesome. Right when Lee Sin safeguarded, he got hit by the... Got hit by the tornado and went sky high. Uh, wasn't as good as those uh, those ones from back in the day where you get uh, popped up twice. And you get popped up out of the screen and you had would have no idea how to get back. It would take like four seconds for you to fall back down. Oh, red team... 
losing a tower once again. A great shock bus hitting three members of the blue team. Are they going to go back in? Oh, a grab with the ult from Nocturne is coming in. Nocturne doing as much as he can. He's going to have to get out of there. He's taking a lot of damage. But Janus Ultimate is going to save her. And now Katarina going on an absolute rampage. She's perfectly timeless so far. She does end up going down a great Omnom coming out from Cho'Gath. Oh, man. Graves picking up a double kill. And that is going to be a triple kill for the Graves once again. Doing a wonderful job. He is at 10 kills at this point. And that is going to be an acceleration gate. Are they going to end up going for the kill or are they going to go for the inhibitor? That is the real question. Oh, unfortunately he does not get the kill. But the acceleration gate with the shock blast is going to be able to pick up the kill. That is going to be a 5 for 2 exchange in favor of the red team. And the red team is doing a wonderful job. They took that inhibitor. It looks like they're either going to go back or go directly to Baron. Very risky chance if they go for Baron right now with almost no health. Uh, they really need to recall, buy, and get a little bit of health before they do. As long as it's properly warded up. No, it looks like the artist is going to go for it. The Graves does a ridiculous amount of damage. He has two BF swords. Uh, one of them being a Bloodthirster, so doing a great job. He should be able to tank pretty easily. Uh, for a while, at least. They wouldn't have to exchange between. Uh, but great job by the red team really being able to pick that up getting the bear buff on every single member of the red team is definitely key It's a great job that they were to pick that up Ezreal throws out his ultimate try to get vision on Baron see if they're doing it But it, he's just aware that it was stolen Overall wonderful job by the red team. They're really starting to show their presence in this late game just really really starting to show it jace doing a phenomenal job jace has a uh, bloodthirster as well as oh man i haven't i don't see i don't typically see war mogs on a jace uh but it's definitely useful obviously he's able to tank quite a bit more than normal he has a chain bus just a little bit uh for the armor that he needs he doesn't have much mr though so i'm a little worried about that Jace doing a wonderful job, absolutely destroying uh, that Ezreal. Ezreal not getting out, getting killed by that Katarina is really going to put a damper. Graves taking a little bit of damage, nothing too terrible, awful to worry about. But uh, if, oh my gosh, Katarina doing a little bit of damage uh, to that Ari. Ari going down to about a third, so wonderful job by them. Cho'Gath is going to keep doing what he can do to try to keep this away. The ultimate now coming out. Oh my gosh, that is going to be an ultimate coming out. Oh, a grab now going on to the Nocturne. Nocturne is going to have to flash away. That's going to be a silence going out of Janus. Janus going to be able to get out of there. No, she does not. And that is going to be the last ultimate now coming out from Ari. Ari is going to go down if she continues this. Jace is going to back off quite a bit. It looks like the Ignite now going down on the Ari. Is Ari going to die from this? Yes, she does. That very last tick. And that is going to be... Oh, I think that Katarina might end up dying from this. Yes, she will definitely die. Uh, so Chase being the only one left alive. Well, I guess Graves, no, Graves still did a really, really good job. Oh, that ultimate f is really close. Oh. That is very depressing. Would have been awesome to see some uh, some great counter ganking coming out onto Elise in. Lee Sin's relatively dominant in this scene. Uh, I know why, but uh, it's very interesting to watch that. Shock Blast absolutely destroying him in the face. That is going to be a perfectly timed flash. Silences and then flash, putting in even greater of a distance and then going into overdrive and really going through with it. Wonderful job by Blitz being able to get out of that sticky situation. Ari now just continuing to farm, doing as much as she can. Uh, it looked like that charm hit her. It looked like it did damage, but it didn't look like it actually did anything to him. Uh, very intriguing. It's not something you see very frequently. It might have hit a creep and something else hit him at the same time. Uh, could have been that orb of deception. You see a lot of Ari's throwing him out at about the same exact time. Say so if you get hit by the charm, you get hit by both of them almost instantly. Oh, a grab now going out of Jace. 
Jason on silence. What is he going to do? Is he going to keep auto attacking? Is he going to run out? He is going to throw out his smash and get out of there. That's going to be a great rupture. Very unfortunate. It looks like Ezra will take out uh, the Janna. And this is going to be too crazy at this point. Oh, two of the guys now going on to Ari. Is Ari going to be able to get out of here? It looks like. Oh my gosh, Grace able to pick that up. And that is going to be an ultimate now coming down from Katarina. Katarina doesn't do a whole heck of a lot, but she was able to do just enough. And now that's a triple kill coming out from Darius. Darius doing a beautiful job right now, but oh, Graves, he gets that pentakill. The first pentakill. Oh my gosh, that needs to be a surrender vote because that was freaking awesome. Great pentakill coming out from Graves, doing a fantastic job. First it was a quad, then it was a triple, and now it was a penta. Who thought you could get a penta when playing on the same team as Katarina? I sure as heck did not, that is for sure. Overall, beautiful job by the red team. Are they going to be able to keep it up? That is the real question. Baron is still down, and they have quite a nice little creep wave. Uh, they are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Graves will quick draw in there. He was able to take out a tower pretty easily. He's going, oh my gosh, he's going to get caught out of position. That is going to kill him. Uh-oh, this is really, really bad news. Now coming out for the red team. That was a wonderful job. Oh no, Nocturne is running the wrong way. He gets slowed once again, and now he's going to follow down as well. So far, two for zero exchange. Is Katarina going to fall for it? Oh, that can be bad. Really great tornado coming out from Janna, being able to do as much damage as she could. Uh, Lee Sin doing quite a bit of damage on his own, but definitely not as no, as much as the Jace. She's doing phenomenal damage right now. Great dragon kick coming out from Lee Sin. Katarina actually going down to a Cho'Gath. Just quite surprising. Cho'Gath doing a lot of damage, but Jace does have that Atmos as well as the Warmogs. Very interesting pick. Oh my gosh, Jace is almost dead. Is he going to get out of here? I do not know. The Rupture not quite hitting anybody. Oh, a great shield. Perfectly timed. He gets that Hammer Smash right before Janna gets to death as well. And that is going to be... Oh, maybe not... Uh oh, Nocturne now coming in with his ultimate, the Arcane Ship coming out from Ezreal, he still gets feared. And that's going to be a couple more auto attacks and I think he's going to die. Yes, Ezreal ends up going down. Blitzcrank, is he going to follow suit? That is the real question. Graves picking up a double kill in the meantime. Oh man, Blitz is really trying so hard to get out of there. Oh, but so close to getting out. So close. The speed up is just proving to be too strong. Is the fear going to go off? Yes, it will. And that is definitely going to be it. Uh, it looks like they're just going to continue to chase him around like a little train. That is giving me a power fist now going down onto graves. I can't believe Blitzcrank is still alive. They're just messing with him. They really are. They're just kind of chasing him around. He's trying to do what he can. He's going to run out of mana soon. Does a great juke, but oh no, he does get in the bushes. He was unable to pull the parental guardian away <laughs> from the minions. That's what it is. The parental guardian of the minions is a super minion. That is going to be a kill finally coming out from Graves. And now Jace actually ended up going down to four members of the blue team. Phenomenal job. But being able to keep two members of the red team away from that fight for the longest time was definitely not a good scenario that the red team really wanted. Graves not quite getting through the parallel with his quick draw. It was a very nice try, but just did not work. Uh oh. Now a huge influx of blue champions are coming in. As he was right there, he does throw out a couple spells. Not going to be able to do too much. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Like two auto attacks. And 
the farm session does continue. Uh, so far, it looks like Cho'Gath is winning by quite a bit against the Jace. He's up by almost 50 now, and that is absolutely huge. Jace is still up because he has those 8 kills and 17 assists. Absolutely ridiculous. At least it is 116 assists with 160 with Nocturne. Sorry, creep kills. So I have 160 Nocturne. So Nocturne really getting the bigger picture of that one. Oh, Baron is finally being targeted to go down. Is anything going to happen? It doesn't look like anything will happen for the blue team. They did a wonderful job. Janna going down pretty low. That was a true shot barrage. That we wanted to see from Ezra earlier. It just did not quite happen. Now ultimate coming out from Nocturne. Is he going to be able to survive this? So there's three members of the blue team here. He's all by himself. He is going to get dragon kicked into the fight. It looks like he will end up going down to an Omnom and an Ari. Wonderful job by the blue team. They are really starting to come back into this fight. Uh, but they just need to make sure that Jace, or that Nocturne doesn't go in by himself anymore. It doesn't look like it's paying off as much as it was, especially when you don't have backup. Uh, it's, it's not quite the best decision you can make. You almost always want to have backup, especially later on in the game uh, when there is just uh, madness in team fights. Everyone's grouping up together. Uh, it's just a little bit more difficult, so it's always good to have that little bit of extra extra help now it looks like blue team is actually being able to hold off this push pretty easily which is relatively surprising they're about 10k gold behind at the 36 37 minute mark uh, so not huge or not unrecoverable it is a lot but it's not unrecoverable again the red team being able to take out that dragon it's going to be very very good for them that's just going to help increase their lead all the much more. They're up by 11,000 now. Nocturne having 40 more creep kills uh, than the Lee Sin. Lee Sin having 2 more kills and 2 less assists. Uh, so not a huge difference there, but the CS is going to be huge. It's going to make up for quite a bit. Uh, so Nocturne has about 3,000 more gold. Uh, or Nocturne has about 3,000 more gold than the Lee Sin. Doing a wonderful job, I must add. Holy cow, Graves is just absolutely ripping through. A great grab now coming out on the Jason. Jace is going to get targeted pretty heavily, but he is kind of tanky, so they're going to go directly for that inhibitor. Take out the inhibitor once again. And oh my gosh, a great ultimate now coming out. Oh, Lee Sin just barely misses. Jace is getting really close. The flash coming out from Graves, being able to dodge that, but three, two people getting caught in that rupture. Kenneran being able to get out of there just barely. And oh no, Nocturne goes down once again. That is a one for one trade. It looks like Ezra is now going down. That is going to be a kill. Lee Sin now going directly on Jace. A great thundering blow coming out. Oh, but Ari just barely going to be able to do enough damage to take her out. She's at 300 health. Is he going to be able to pick that up? Oh my gosh, she's just going to absolutely rip apart. And that is, yes, a double kill coming out for the Graves. A great flash, actually, from the Janna. Being able to just tank that charm. A beautiful play. And it looks like this is going to be the end of the game unless they decide to recall, which it looks like they are. Um, guess they just kind of want to hang out or let the minions finish it. They do have 30 seconds. They can just let the minions finish it, to be honest. I don't know how long it's going to take, but there's nothing really stopping them. So uh, it is just going to keep happening. Now there are finally minions. It looks like Katarina will help the minions on just a little bit, and so will Graves. Uh, but overall, they're going to let the game finish with the minions, it seems. And Graves doing a ridiculous amount of damage to this Cho'Gath, even while on. Janna, oh, Janna actually dying right before the Nexus explodes. Very unfortunate, she does have five zeals and boots of mobility, being super fast, Janna. Uh, wow, that was just a phenomenal game. Uh, Red Team really showed their dominance at about 20 minutes, uh, and then... F the blue team was doing an excellent job at really just uh, playing defense. Uh, they started off in the CS lead pretty heavily. The blue team did. The Lee Sin was doing amazing ganks. Uh, it was just everything was going into their favor. Uh, but then you just showed the weakness of the lane matchups actually happen when it, once it got towards that mid game. Uh, Janna with Graves is absolutely terrifying just because Janna can pop you up 
uh, and then give the Graves extra AD so he can just quick draw in there and auto attack you three or four times before you can get away. Um, Ezreal in the long run was able to out CS him uh, just by about 40, a little bit more. Uh, so he did a wonderful job, Ezreal, in the end, but that pentakill coming out on Graves was absolutely insane. I definitely suggest you rewind that and watch it once again. He did a fantastic job on there. Uh, but overall, yeah, just congratulations to the red team for winning this game and GG to the blue team. Uh, if you guys like my videos, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really does help out the channel, and I appreciate it. If you have any specific suggestions or uh, any requests that you want to see, if you want to see a specific champion or a player, uh, please just leave a comment, send me a message, whatever you can do to get a hold of me. And let me know what it is you want to see or let me know what it is you want to see changed in the current format that I have. Uh, I'm really open for pretty much any ideas. If you guys have any ideas, I'll try it at least once, um, depending on if I like it or if the rest of the people like it. Uh, I will definitely at least try it once regardless. Um, if nobody likes it, then of course I won't keep it. But if everybody likes it, I'll definitely try to work it into my normal routine. Uh, but again, guys, thanks for your support, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.